What's up everyone? Today is going to be a very special video because we recently hit 2000 subscribers. I am super thankful for all the support. I honestly didn't think we would get this far because like in my eyes I am just one goofy guy making <laughs> half-baked videos of cool runs I found on this niche game but uh, apparently people enjoy seeing that. So as a way of celebration I will be giving away 3 packs and uh, in order to join I will let you know how at the end of the video. But uh, for now I suppose we are going to go to the run that I want to showcase today which is actually a replay I got relatively recently. That being uh, this lot win over here and it is very special because we as soon as it loads get a slot on the initial shop so that is uh, kind of difficult to win with it's also a versus victory so we're playing against someone but more importantly I wanted to have this run in the background because I also asked you guys to give me questions that I can answer for a Q&A so I will be letting the run play itself as I will be reading out the questions from my phone uh, it will be slow motion by the way, just so I can have more time to read all of the questions, otherwise we might have to play another run in order to fill in all of the time. But uh, here we go. Uh, first question is, what is the best pack for versus an arena and why? And I think uh, it's kind of difficult to say for arena because... Uh, if you play arena you can also play against that pack in particular so like golden pack only plays against golden pack if you wanted to same goes for unicorn against unicorn so on and so forth but I think for versus against all packs turtle should be the way to go in my opinion because it has the strongest early game and also it has a pretty decent late game so it basically has it all it's relatively easy to play there are a lot of niche mechanics that you can master, like for example this duck cell that many people don't know about. You can get some strong tier 2s like the spider. And uh, I guess we find the rabbit which is currently overpowered so I'm very happy to take that as well. I guess I, I, I shouldn't be switching over to commentator mode because uh, we should be reading cut questions. So uh, here we go, we're moving onward. But uh, yeah, to answer your question, turtle pack for everything is the best. which. I think it's very healthy for the game because it is also the only free pack, excluding uh, free weeklies of course. So next question comes from John Bear actually. He asks, what's your skincare routine? Very interesting question. I suppose the answer would be that I wash my face once in a blue moon or something like that. Like, I, I'm not very much of a skincare kind of guy. The skin just maintains itself. I just have to, like, eat and not starve and move, I suppose. Like, it, it's all working out, but I guess when I start getting dry skin or uh, pimples on my face, that, that's when I should be starting to worry about uh, skincare, which at the current point in time is not the case, thankfully. So I don't have to worry just yet. Next question, we have, what does your nickname Flame69 mean? Which is actually 96, whoops, I almost said a nice number right there, which I actually did. So, uh, the story behind it is actually quite silly. I, I'm kind of shy to explain it, but uh, here we go. So, I had a cousin who I looked, looked up to, not looked up to, looked up to. And uh, he was born in the year 1996, so in video games he would call himself Zap96. So I was like, yo, my cousin is so cool, I wanna be like him. Like, uh, how do we arrange that? So I was thinking, maybe do something similar to Zap96, but uh, maybe uh, find something similar to, to Zap in order to replace for the name, otherwise it would just be... Uh, I guess plagiarism, so I ended up with uh, Flame96 as we hit this awesome double penguin right here, but think up a hedgehog and a spider, so our slot run is looking great right now against this versus opponent. Kinda self-destructive hedgehog, but it's getting the job done for now. So, next question. 
what were your inspirations for making videos? So it started off as a challenge run channel, which I guess we still are to this day. We do make challenges on the regular, I would like to assume. But uh, I remember there was a YouTuber named uh, Newtech. Uh, he's probably still linked in my recommended channels uh, in my main channel page. And uh, b uh, back then he was a pretty decent sized YouTuber. Like a lot of people still didn't exist. Like SAG was still uh, maybe five subscribers or something. He wasn't known to the world. And uh, this Newtech person, he was like... Uh, Hey, if you manage to uh, upload all of your challenge runs to YouTube, that would be super awesome. So I was like, okay, here we go. Uh, the first challenge he proposed was uh, winning with a level 3B that uh, had to be like 50-50 or something. And uh, at the time that seemed pretty difficult to do. Challenge runs weren't super well known to the community. And uh, somehow I miraculously got it first attempt. I think if I didn't get it first attempt, I would have just given up and this YouTube channel wouldn't exist. But uh, here we go, because I got a 50-50B in a single run, that, that is the reason why this channel exists. So here you go, that is a little bit of lore behind the channel. Next question is favorite background. And I guess that would be the moon background that you see right now during the video. It's very pretty and also not super hurtful to my eyes because I mainly play at night and uh, half the, of the time the light is gonna be out and I don't want to be staring at the cloud background or the neon background for example. So uh, this dark background that is very pretty looking and kind of unique compared to all of the rest, I, I enjoy it a lot. I, I like playing with it a lot. Uh, next question. Favorite pet and food? Mm, that's interesting, like there are hundreds of pets in the game, so it's kind of difficult to pick, right? Uh, I think my favorite would have to be the behemoth. Not only is it super strong, but uh, it's actually having a game-defying ability, which I really enjoy about it. It's like... Whenever you see a stat line above 50-50, you immediately know that you're dealing with the behemoth. And I find that super cool. I, I don't think any other pet has something similar going. Like most other pets are like, uh, hey, I give you stats. Or uh, hey, I snipe the enemy. Or I summon a pet. I guess the slot in that regard is very special itself. Because it has no ability, no scaling, no in battle. It does believe in you, which I guess counts for something, especially when you don't believe in yourself. So I guess by that logic, Slot is my second favorite pet in the game. And uh, favorite food? Uh, I guess, <laughs> as we get a very funny sequence here, an elephant killing our backline. Uh, my favorite food would have to be the um, Peach of Immortality, I think. For similar reasons because it's very game defying like every single time that you purchase it it becomes better i don't think there's a food that does anything similar to that maybe i'm mistaken maybe there's a fun food that interacts with the gameplay in some way or another that i can't really think of but uh yeah it would have to be peach and immortality and behemoth not to mention that they also rack up the views when you get a YouTube video of them, which is an added bonus. Next question. Why is Flame96 so handsome and cool? Asked from G Bread Gaming. He, he always makes me shy with such questions. Like, how am I supposed to respond to that? Thank you, Pookie. <laughs> Making me blush like that. Next question is, favorite and hardest challenge? Uh, favorite, I would assume, would have to be the five of a kind, as I have done basically hundreds of those uh, by today, I think. So yeah, favorite, definitely five of a kind. Very fun way to play the game. I quite enjoy it. And uh, most difficult, as we get the win right here with the slot. We didn't get it up to level 3, but uh, it's kind of difficult to get a pet up to level 3 uh, in versus. At least we got the leopard up. Hardest challenge I suppose would have to be one that I didn't even attempt trying. So 
Uh, something like winning star pack with no uh, star pack pets. Like uh, if we go to the packs right here, arena, and we take a look at star pack, you can get non star pack pets. For example, by selling the platypus, you get a buck, uh, duck and a beaver, which don't belong to the pack. By peeling an ant eater, you can get an ant, which once again does not belong. And most importantly, by peeling an orca. I suppose nowadays you can even peel the ammonite and you get a mimic octopus which also does not belong. So yeah, super fun challenge, kind of difficult to do, maybe I attempt it sometime in the future, but honestly I don't see myself completing it, it's just that difficult. So next question. What do you want to achieve in life by Katarina Luna? Okay, that's a great question. And a very difficult question to answer. I suppose we hop in the game and we start uh, playing a little bit just so we have something going in the background. Let's start off with a horse cricket before we tackle this difficult question. And the duck as well for good measure. And turn maybe freeze the apple as well. Uh, what do you want to achieve in life? Uh, I don't have a set goal in life. Like it, it's very difficult to say what you want to be and to also have the confidence to say okay I'm definitely going to become this uh, this great at this particular activity or I want to have this and that so I, I don't really know what I want to achieve I suppose this channel is kind of a start I'm making a mark on the world as silly as it sounds we get a level up in the cricket right here and uh, I guess also it does uh, contribute financially a little bit towards my financial goal so I'm very happy about that as well uh, I'm sorry if that if you found that uh, answer um, <laughs> lackluster but I, I really just uh, go with the flow and see where it takes me in life that, that's what I'll finish on I suppose next question from Troubadour what kind of games do you enjoy that you haven't made videos on uh, basically any kind of indie game I really enjoy playing, like uh, Bellatro, you have probably seen me play during a stream. Uh, I I'm always on the lookout basically for any cool indie games, like I recently stumbled upon one that is called uh, Die in the Dungeon, which is a very cool dice game, a dice builder if you will, not a deck builder but a dice builder. So uh, yeah, that, that sounds kind of fun to play. Uh, it's kind of discouraging playing new games on the channel because you basically lose all of your viewership. But I suppose if you want to find something interesting that people would enjoy to watch, you do have to risk a little bit. There's another cool game that uh, has come up recently called Me Mayhem that I quite enjoy watching and maybe want to play one day on the channel. Let me know, by the way, if you want to see other games on the channel, I would gladly play them. Uh, especially if they're indie titles, I really enjoy indie games, especially supporting the small developers. Next question. What's the video you liked slash disliked the most making? Once again by Katarina Luna. Okay, another interesting question. Uh, for liked, I think it would have to be... Um, I guess we stack flamingos. I'm playing this in a very versus way where I'm going for maximum tempo instead of going for scaling. Maybe I should have leveled for rabbit and uh, looked for worm. That would have been a better foundation for an arena run, but I think this is also fine. Never mind though, what is the video that I enjoyed most making? So I remember. For April Fools this year I made a video with uh, French subtitles and um, the seal in French is called Fox so it was kind of a little bit of a play on words. <laughs> I was being a little naughty I suppose as we get a level up, very nice. Ooh, into a penguin, that's a great one. I guess we peel onto these two units and start buffing them up with the penguin. Swan especially is going to be a very good unit to keep into the late game. Even put the garlic on that bad boy. Here we go. But uh, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun voicing it over. I had a lot of fun reading the comments with uh, people joining in on the joke. That, that was a great time, honestly. As for disliked, I don't really have any videos that I dislike making. 
like i don't put too much effort into like editing and stuff you can probably tell like if i end up stuttering a bit during a video i will obviously cut off that part but other than that i just put the um the member shout outs at the end and uh edit like that it, it's not a, a lot of work not a lot of dislike so yeah, I, I can't really say that I dislike anything in particular that I make. I'm very happy with all that I produce. Next question. How long does it take to make a thumbnail? That's very interesting. Um, most of the time, not a lot. You can see sometimes some of my uh, thumbnails look uh, similar to one another. So... You can probably tell that I'm recycling a little bit, which uh, I'm not ashamed to admit. It does save a lot of time. It still produces pretty nice looking thumbnails, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, let's continue buffing this one with the giraffe. And uh, yeah, I actually make them using uh, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, funnily enough. I don't think anyone else uses that. Like, they go online because they are pretty good engines to produce uh, good looking thumbnails online as well without having to download any software. But uh, yeah, what I use is um, Excel or uh, not Excel, sorry, it would be very impressive if I could, if I could do it in Excel. But uh, I use PowerPoint and um, it has been doing some very good results. It takes like no more than 5 to 10 minutes for a thumbnail, funnily enough. Like you might think since they look great they take a lot of time that is definitely not the case i think we're losing here even with the garlic we end up losing because they have turkey parrot that's kind of scary but at least we have two level ups actually okay this is looking great all of a sudden into cat and into dragon i think i like dragon more because we can easily sell out of this giraffe, this one gives us a lot of gold to buy sell. So we can start like immediately working towards a max static team. Something like this. Uh, freeze the horse, no need for a level 3 penguin, level 2 is good enough. Uh, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. Let's move on to the next one. Let's not get too absorbed into the game. Uh, what do we have next? Why did you start uploading? Uh, yeah, same answer to the previous question. I was basically um, motivated by a challenge requester, another SAP YouTuber by the name of Nudek. And uh, that, that made me start uploading. So big thank you to Nudek for getting me this far, I suppose. It wouldn't be for him. Um, so yeah, let's uh, buy sell a little bit. A little bit brainless, which I kind of enjoy because uh, we are focusing on answering questions over here. Maybe a scorpion to finish off? Maybe we don't even need it. Like, we have massive stats going for us right now. Uh, worst and best pet of tier 6 and every tier, honestly. Uh, that's a very... Uh, very difficult question to answer we can maybe answer after the game because I would need to look at all of the pets in order to give you a good answer for that let's just finish off the run real quick we are at 8 wins already and uh, yeah we can uh, look at the packs and then we can end off with the uh, giveaway that I want to do here we go mosquito maybe it pops a melon maybe it's super useful who knows uh, then we have some humorous questions. Why does Flame96 stink? Question by Proy. A lot of people think Proy hate me just because he always calls me stinky in the comments. Uh, the real answer is um, there's only one of us who is playing uh, Mobile Legends on the regular. So uh, who is stinky? <laughs> I, I, I have no better comeback. I'm sorry. You, you have a point. I am quite stinky sometimes. Here we go, buy this pizza, uh, this should be very comfortably winning I suppose, like uh, this one will have 41 attack, 43 HP, big cricket as well, uh, I don't think there's even a need to buy sell tier 1s anymore, this mushroom scorpion is going to do wonders for us. Uh, can you call an ambulance? My seal is depressed, another question that we have. 
And uh, what would be the answer to this? I suppose call an ambulance. Dot dot dot. But not for me. <laughs> because I'm not the seal that's suffering. Let's go. Easy win. I suppose when you're tryharding, it's just that easy to get the victory. This team is super oppressive. Like, what are you supposed to do? We don't have any in battle abilities other than the Scorpion, but then again, 41, 43, Swan, 33, 34, Cricket, 18, 18 with the stake. Absolutely ginormous stats. Okay, do we have any humorous questions that uh, deserve to be answered before we answer the big question of favorite and least favorite pet of each tier? We do have the most liked comment. I like my cheese drippy, bruh. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to mean, but uh, Crip also did send me some binary code in DMs and uh, I decrypted it for him in DMs as well. So <laughs> I, I hope he was uh, very happy with that answer. But uh, let's go, let's answer the big question first and then we can do the giveaway details later. Hop in arena, uh, maybe start by... I actually don't have any pack that I can create. So let's hop into... I guess since the charity challenge is over, we will delete the pack. I have left a code in the description of the video where I did the charity challenge. So it is never lost, which is uh, something great about it. I suppose we delete. Here we go. Enter a brand new pack and start looking at the pets. So these are the tier 1s. This is the pets you want me to rate. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, favorite I suppose would have to be the... Either the Opossum or the Marmoset. They have a great starting stat line of 2-3 and they have awesome abilities as well. This is basically giving you one free gold, same as the pick. But I think it has a more stable stat line. And this gives you a straight up plus one plus one to a faint pet, which there are many good faint pets in custom packs in particular. So I think these two are tied for um, best pets, maybe pill bugs somewhere in there because it gives you a free pill, makes it finding uh, pills more consistent. Least favorite, probably the goose. I've been screwed over by geese so much in arena that I really hate seeing the goose nowadays. Like, this one attack removal can be such a downfall. Like, imagine you have a full f team of 50-50s, your opponent also has a full team of 50-50s, but they also have this goose that says, oh no, your 50-50s suddenly a 49-50, so now my 50-50 trades 2 for 1. Insane value for a tier 1 potentially, and I hate it for that. <laughs> so let's move on to tier 2s now. Tier 2s, we have um, a lot of them once again. Uh, what do I like? I think my favorite would have to be the Stork. If you remember a while back, uh, most sap tubers did this challenge when they won with a full, of, uh, full team of 1-1 one, one Storks at level 3. Just because its ability is so good that it can potentially spit out... Uh, wolves and rhinos and roosters and uh, just because it, it can have so many powerful summons it can relatively easily beat even custom teams so i really like that about the stock i would have to say this is my favorite pet of this uh, tier as for least favorite um there's not a lot of pets i hate honestly like I think Salamander is one pet that I quite dislike. Start the battle game plus one plus one for each level of cell pet. So you either set up your team with a ton of cell pets, which thankfully at tier one there are a lot of them. You have the pig, the marmoset, uh, you have chinchilla I think also counts. But um, I never play this pet. I think it's kind of inconvenient to play this pet because it forces you into a very specific team. And if your opponent is forced into that team and they do have a level 2 Salamander, it's all of a sudden going to be like 11-11 stats on turn 3 and it's going to destroy you. So, in that sense, it does feel very unfair and I hate seeing that. Let's go up to tier 3. 
a lot of pets that I really enjoyed tier 3. This is where the game starts shifting a little bit. You start being a little bit more value oriented. The pets start uh, having a noticeable increase of um, ability quality, let's say. Uh, favorite would be like nothing fills my heart up like a bubusi. I said it. Like I don't play Golden Pack, but uh, when I see Bubusi, my my heart just skips a beat. Like it gives plus one plus two. It's a great ability, the best possible pet in uh, Golden Pack to get early on. In customs, it's also great. And uh, yeah, it has a pretty funny name, pretty funny to pronounce. So I I'm very happy to put this as my number one uh, pet. I hate the most. Uh, I can't really name all of the new ones. I haven't really played around with all of the new ones that much. So let's take a look at uh, some of these. Honestly, I think it would have to be the Dodo. It started off as such a good pet. If you don't know, way back it was a 2-3 on tier 2 and not tier 3. And its ability gave 100% of its attack to the friend ahead at level 1. At level 3 it gave 100% of its attack to the 3 friends ahead. So you can imagine how busted it was. And to see it falling from grace like this. Debatably maybe the worst tier 3 that we have nowadays. Like 3-2 that's a stat line of a tier 1 pet. The ability is not super relevant if you can, unless you can scale it up and even if you do, unless the dodo is level 2, I don't think the attack gain is super relevant. So I'm very sad to say I don't really enjoy the dodo nowadays. Tier 4 we have a um, very interesting selection. I think for the reasons that I like Behemoth, I also like the Mantis quite a bit. It just kills off a pet at the end of every single turn. Uh, I suppose it would be the start of every single turn actually, so even better. It gets a massive amount of stats, it has great starting stats and it gives you a free pill every turn as well as having a super unique ability. So I really like that about the Prank Mantis. I can see why it's uh, Troubadour's favorite pet. It's super fun to play with, super fun to design teams around. And uh, it is very strong as well. Least favorite, uh, some of the new ones, like I can't really say anything bad about the new ones. The new ones are excellent. Maybe the Trout is a little bit mediocre in its ability, but the new ones are super fun. Uh, so let's take a look at the older designs and choose from there. I think the Whale Shark is a little bit lackluster. Especially its starting stat line of 1-4, it's very weak. It's super weak, its ability isn't that good. But uh, when your opponent hits it in arena and they have a 30-30 well shark on turn 8, you're very mad to be going up against them. This is what I don't like about such pets. Like when you have them, they're awful, they're garbage. But when your opponent has them, all of a sudden they're great and they destroy your whole team. How is that even possible? The, the real problem is that uh, such pets don't really have any long term prospects like you can imagine getting this up to 40-40 by turn uh, 12 maybe but then you can't really put a melon on it to protect it because it eats all perks and ailment it receives and uh, someone who has invested into a dragon will have a full team of 40-40s by that time and they will start destroying you so not the most pleasant design, very mid game oriented and uh, very niche as well, which I think makes it fall off a lot in my eyes. For tier 5, there are a lot of good pets in here, a lot of good pets. Um, some of the buy sell pets are very interesting. I, I guess they do just give stats, but like, how can you not love a cow, for example? There's a reason. Sack calls cows mommy milkers or something. So um, let's let's try to think of a more creative answer though. I think once again, since it is a game defying mechanic, I would have to go favorite panther. You can do so much fun stuff with it. You can put a melon that blocks up to 80 damage. 
you can put a banana that spawns four monkeys. You can even banana pill it for multiple monkeys at a time. And uh, yeah, like the synergies with this are almost endless. And uh, with every single update that comes out, we get more health foods, more perks. Therefore, even more synergies with the Panther. Maybe one day it will get nerfed because a new game breaking synergy will be introduced. But until then, we have an excellent ability to play around with. Super fun, super good. There is a reason that this pet is a staple in Puppy Pack and uh, it's super enjoyable as well. Least favorite, I did hate the swordfish for the longest time because it used to kill itself with its own ability but all of a sudden they gave it 2 HP and now it doesn't kill itself anymore so let's look for another pet that I can hate on. Um, a lot of good pets though, very difficult to just pick a specific one out and say this pet sucks, I hate this pet. I guess the closest I come to hating a pet is the Kappa, funnily enough, because uh, it's supposed to give both players a benefit, right? But uh, the player who is running the Kappa oftentimes builds their team in such a way that uh, their summons get extra stats so they can beat over your summons. Or uh, they make it so that uh, the Kappa dies with uh, without you having lost a single unit so only they get the summon. It's very very clever, it's very healthy for the game I think, but I, I don't like how it screws me over. Even though it doesn't screw me over it just feels like it does which I really dislike about this pet. But overall the design is very fun. As I said very difficult to hate on pets of this tier. And uh, for tier 6 some pets are in here that a lot of people would hate, <laughs> like the Jersey Devil, maybe, like this bad boy over here. Favorite, uh, I did say favorite is the Behemoth, which, uh, let me see if I can find it, it's right here. If In case you don't know the ability, 12, 12 starting stats, the highest in the game. It gets a 3 plus 2 plus 2 at the end of every single turn, so it's basically like a 14-14. And its stats can go up to 100-100, which I think is super unique and that's the main reason why I enjoy it so much. Uh, for uh, least favorite though, I can't really name a super weak pet like the Wolverine because it's beloved by the community. I also enjoy it quite a bit, but it does feel like it's underperforming a lot. Weakest pet or the pet that I dislike the most. That's difficult, like, ev every time I look at tier 6s, like, these are supposed to be the end game of all teams, so it's kinda difficult to pick one weak pet out of here. But I guess it would have to be this line right here. 7-7, seven, seven, start the battle ability, if this is your highest tier pet, gain 50% attack and HP. The reason why I dislike this? You can't run multiple tier 6s otherwise the line won't work. Of course by that logic you can't also make a 5 of a kind lion worm because all of the lion's abilities will turn each other off. And also it doesn't really want to be scaled up to 50-50. It, it has this very awkward point of being uh, scaled up to 25-25 at level 2 and then all more stats that you put on it are unnecessary which feels kinda stinky. But until then like 7-7 seven, seven, that gets buffed up to a 10-10 in battle, it that also feels stinky. So you have to really hit that golden zone of uh, 20 to 25 of uh, attack and health in order to make the lion pop. And even then it just gets stats, it doesn't get any in battle abilities which feels very weak. So I suppose that would be the answer to the final question. Let us delete this pack real quick, not log out of the game. Here we go. And now to the part that you have all been waiting for, let's hop to the giveaways. So in order to participate in the giveaway, first requirement would be to subscribe in order to keep supporting the channel. And uh, maybe we can do even more giveaways the more support we get. 
But uh, the other thing that I would like you to do is to leave me a comment telling me which pack you want to receive. Like uh, you can ask for unicorn pack, you can ask for golden, star pack, puppy pack and also the mini pack that isn't listed over here. The mini custom pack you can also ask for if you like. There's also an update coming with another mini pack coming up. So if you're patient you can also ask for that one and uh, in some time we I can get you that pack as well. But yeah, that, those are the requirements. First of all, subscribe. Secondly, just leave me a comment telling me which pack you want. And that will be it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it was quite special in my eyes, so uh, I really hope that I managed to deliver some uh, interesting gameplay today, as well as some uh, lore behind the channel. So yeah, if you did enjoy what you saw, I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I will talk to you next time. Take care.